Hey guys, it's Carrie Creation, and this week we're going to do a little bit of a shorter video. Well, shorter for you guys, but it took me about the same amount of time to do. We're going to do a speed paint this week. So, it's May, and in the art community that means it's Mermaid. And I've never actually done Mermaid before because I don't really have any Mermaid characters, and I'm not really. Uh, I, I've never really found Mermaid lore to be something that I'm specifically into. Uh, when I was younger it was like dragons and m more recently there's been like unicorns and things like that but mermaids were never really something that I was super into but I was thinking about it and I do technically have two characters that could count as mermaid characters in a sense I have Sestri and I have Zephyr now Sestri is uh, this character that I'm going to be drawing today she is uh, kind of like a humanoid half elf uh, mer creature in a sense. She's from the, uh, the the Ravnica setting of Dungeons and Dragons 5e. Um, so she is part of one of the, uh, I guess, clan, no clans probably isn't the right thing, like guilds, um, who, I don't know a lot about it myself, sorry, um, one of my friends was going to be running a game and this is the character I made for it without actually knowing a lot about them, so if you want to educate me about the Ravnica setting and if you know what guild I'm talking about, the one that's really into like, you know, genetic experimentation and water creatures and things like that, feel free to pop it down in the comments and educate me because it's been a long time and I don't really remember it. I just know that I really loved my character and creating her. So she's kind of a mixture. She was a half elf and then she was mixed with kind of like a manta ray sort of sort of being. Um, originally when I designed her, she did have the manta ray uh, wings. And since then we kind of retconned it so that instead of having them all the time, it's just if she uses um, her feather fall spell, they kind of just pop out and down she floats. Other than that, you know, I figured she is technically one of the closest things I do have to a mermaid, so we're just gonna go with her this time. The other character that I have that would be kind of close to a mermaid is Zephyr. Now Zephyr is actually an alien, but she's kind of like a mixture between a like jellyfish, crab, aquatic being but an alien nonetheless. So I had the choice between the two of those and I went with Sestri. So I figured for this image, what I would do would be, I, I wanted to experiment with like the idea of her swimming, putting her in more of that sort of aquatic situation. So I've drawn her basically in a really difficult upside down pose and I'm really proud of myself for getting it as good as I did. I pulled up a reference of people swimming in swimming pools and I was like, okay, let's go. This is what we're doing. And as you can see, I, you know, maybe your opinion's different to mine, but I think I did a pretty good job. So we're just going through it. I did her, her body first, just planned it all out. And then I figured when we got to the background, that's when it would be more obvious that she's meant to be underwater swimming. And yes, she does wear boots while swimming. Her entire outfit is supposed to be basically a, uh, a an aquatic suit. It's a really breathable material and that's just what she wears. She was basically supposed to be going on a lot of water missions and doing stuff like that. She likes to accessorize it with like a nice sarong and belt combo and sometimes she does put on some shoulder pads as well um, as like a protection. But yeah, so she, she does wear her gloves, undersuit, and uh, boots while she's swimming. Um, she, what else can I say about her? She didn't really make it very far. The campaign didn't really last very long. Lives happened and the people couldn't run in it anymore. So it's kind of been put on a back burner. We're hopefully going to pick it up again someday. But Sestri was basically just this really sweet, kind of naive girl who just wanted to experience life outside her own guild which was kind of difficult to do in the setting because 
people don't really trust her guild because of how far they go to like really show that they're part of the guild with their genetic experiments and changing their DNA and things like that. Um, so she she got into she fell into all of that kind of by accident and then just wanted to know what else was kind of out there at the moment. So she was working with a couple of people from other guilds and it was a really interesting mix of personalities and it was probably one of the first times I actually got to play someone who was the most wholesome person in the group. So she, she was just very wholesome, very sweet. Um, there was one game where we were chasing down uh, some enemy goblins and we, we ended up capturing them because she cast sleep on them. She is a caster. Uh, she cast sleep on them in the middle of a crowd and put a couple of people to sleep, which was unfortunate, but it's fine. Like, they were fine. It was just sleep. Um, but yeah, so they, they got them back to, like, this little headquarters area where they were trying to figure things out. And the rest of the team's trying to interrogate them. And she was sitting there going, you know, maybe they'd be more friendly if, if we offered them something to eat. Maybe they're thirsty. I'll go get them a snack. And everyone's like, don't, don't give the prisoners a snack. And she's like, no, no, I'll get them a snack. It'll be fine. It was, she was just, she was trying to be the best person she could be. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's, I'm really hoping that one day we do get to continue with this game. I think it would be really fun. And I'd really like to experiment more with who she can be as a character. But in the meantime, if I can't use her for roleplay, I can still use her for my own purposes. She is my OC. I did really enjoy designing her. I really liked the idea that like, when you think of a manta ray normally, you'd think of like blues and creamy colors, but I decided to go with like a really nice stark red and then use her outfit being blue. So as you can see, we're, we're reaching the end of the line arc now and then we'll be able to go through and put colors in very shortly. And you'll, you'll get to see that red color that I'm talking about. But I, I'm really excited for this piece being my first real mermaid piece. Um, I know there are prompts that you can follow, but I really didn't feel like I had the time or energy to follow through with a proper 30 day prompt list. That's something that I would like to do sometime in the future. But this week we decided we're just going to do a um, just the one picture for now. I might do another mermaid picture before the end of the month. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, if you would like me to do a mermaid picture using Zephyr, my jellyfish crab lady, alien person. If you want to see a video where I do a picture of her, feel free to leave a comment and let me know because I would really love to hear some feedback from people who watch my videos and get some, some communication going. I, I, I've started my YouTube because I want to do what I like doing, but I also want to hear what you guys like, what you guys like seeing and what you'd like to see from me. I have a couple of ideas for some videos coming up, but you know, feedback is always appreciated. Hopefully positive feedback, but just let me know if you like it or not. And if you want to see more stuff like this before the end of the month. Um, I did just do a stream the other week with Zafia in it. So if you're not sure what she looks like or what her character style is, even if you don't watch the full stream, you can just go in and click to the end and, and see how she turned out. I think it turned out really well. And I'm actually really happy with how this image has been turning out so far. I'm excited for you to see the end product. I really enjoy the background of it and the, the colors. I went really simple with the shading on it um, when we do get to shading, just because I have uh, I have been really worn down lately, so I don't have as much energy to just sit and draw for a couple of hours at a time. So I'm trying to make my life just a little bit easier with stuff like that, uh, which is why when I've been doing full body pictures like this, I try really hard not to push myself too much. And I figured she's underwater anyway, so the light would be really diffused. 
and that would be a good excuse to not do as much shading <laughs> and just I just I, I find shading and like rendering to be one of my least favorite parts of the drawing. I really enjoy uh, sketching and I really find line art to be relaxing because it's really just going over what you've already done. I have started to enjoy backgrounds a lot more, pushing myself to see what I can do, but shading is probably still my least favorite part. Um, if you don't know anything about Magic the Gathering or Ravnica setting, maybe down in the comments below you can let me know if you do art, what your least favorite or most favorite part is. We can start a conversation about that sometime because I think it's really great that everyone does have different strengths and weaknesses with it, that they have different things they enjoy. So I'd, I'd really love to hear about it. I'm really enjoying backgrounds at the moment, especially these really simplistic backgrounds where you can kind of splotch in some colour and have it read as what you want it to read as. Obviously, if the background is the focus, put a lot of effort into it. But if the character's the focus, the background just needs to kind of read how you want it to without being too much. And I thought that was just the most helpful thing when it came to me doing, doing backgrounds. So I decided to put in some bubbles at the end here because I thought they would look really nice. And I was actually really happy with this effect and how simple this, this brush that I used made it to make bubbles. Overall, I had a lot of fun making this image and if you did enjoy watching me draw this, if you enjoyed the speed paint, um, please put a like on the video, it helps me out so much. Um, if you aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more of my art in the future. And have a nice time. Thanks for stopping by. Bye!